Dana from Comfort Food Community here in our Greenwich Food Center kitchen for another edible education video. Thank you to Emily from the Skylarville Library for inviting me to share this video and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to make some quick pickled vegetables. This is one of my favorite things to do at home when I have extra vegetables that I'm not sure what to do with because it's very quick and easy and you don't have to deal with the canning process because they're going to be stored in the refrigerator. So you can use many different types of vegetables for this recipe. If you look up pretty much any vegetable or fruit, chances are someone has pickled it already. So today I'm going to be using some cucumbers, carrots, and turnips, and all of these vegetables are from our food center. So let's get started with our basic brine. For this brine, we're going to need equal parts water and vinegar. For this amount of quick pickles, I'm going to use three quarters of a cup of each, but if you're making more or less, you can vary that. Just make sure you have equal parts water and vinegar. I'm going to use some apple cider vinegar because I like the flavor, but you can definitely just use uh, white vinegar for this. The only vinegar that wouldn't work for this would be balsamic vinegar, but you can use pretty much any other kind of vinegar you'd like. Next we need something to sweeten our brine. So I'm going to use some local honey from our food center, but you can also just use sugar or maple syrup. And I'm going to use about a tablespoon of this honey because I like a little bit of a sweeter pickle, but you can definitely vary how much sweetener you're using. Now I'm going to add some salt to our brine. Again, how much salt you use is up to you, but I'm going to use a teaspoon of salt. So I'll set aside our basic brine for now, um, and we'll come back to it to heat it up later. So now let's talk about our um, optional seasonings that you're going to add to that brine later. I'm just going to use some things that I pulled from the spice cabinet today, so take a look around your cabinet and see what kind of combinations you can come up with. You might be surprised to learn that traditional pickling, pickling spices actually include cinnamon. So don't be afraid to get creative with the spices that you're using. And also take a look around your cabinet and your refrigerator for what kind of vegetables you'd like to pickle. The first thing you need to do is wash and dry your vegetables, which I've already done. And then you can get started with cutting them up. When you're cutting vegetables, it can be helpful to put your cutting board on a slightly damp towel to keep it from sliding around. Um, and I'll start with our cucumbers. So I'm going to hold my knife with my finger on the side, which can feel a little bit odd to you if it's not how you're used to holding it, but it does provide you with some more stability. And I'm going to hold my hand like a claw shape to protect my fingers. I'm just going to cut the ends off my cucumber. And for these pickles, I think I'm just going to cut them into some nice thick slices so they'll be easy to snack on. So I'll start by cutting them in half and then cutting them in half this way. You can also just cut them into rounds if you'd like, like this. Now I'll put our cucumbers into one of our jars. You don't have to use an actual canning jar for this. You can just use a bowl. I just happen to have canning jars. And you can really pack them in there. All right. Now let's move on to our carrots. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the ends of the carrots. and then use my peeler to remove the skin.
And for my quick pickled carrots, I'm actually just going to use my peeler to create some nice thin slices. Um, you can also just cut your carrot into matchsticks or cut it into some uh, round coin shapes, whatever you'd like. Just try and cut it somewhat thinly because you want it to soften a little bit in the brine. So the thinner it is, the softer it will be. And we'll put this in our jar. Now let's do our turnips. So the turnips, I'm going to cut off the ends as well. And I'll use my vegetable peeler to peel them. Be careful of your fingers. Once you have it peeled, cut it in half so it's easier to cut. So you have a flat surface to cut it on. And just slice it into some really thin half circles like this. vegetables are cut, we can come back to our brine. And I'm just going to heat this up in the microwave for about two to three minutes until it is um, simmering or boiling. You can also just do it on the stove top. So I'm going to put this in the microwave. All right, our brine is hot now, so I'm just going to give it a little stir. And now we can get our vegetables ready. I like to just put the spices in right before I pour it in the brine. Um, so for our cucumbers, I'm gonna use some dried dill. Just sprinkle that in there. I don't measure usually. For our carrots, I'm gonna make them a little spicy with some red pepper flakes. And our turnips are going to have a few whole black peppercorns for a nice peppery taste. And I also usually just like to put in um, a whole clove of garlic or two in the pickles. And now we can pour in our brine. So this is very hot. Be careful of the glass and the liquid. Careful of your fingers. And also make sure to never pour hot liquid into a cold glass. These glasses are room temperature. If they come out of the fridge, that can cause the glass to break. So make sure that they're at room temperature. And slowly pour in your brine. Now we're going to put the lids on our pickles and leave them to sit until they get to be room temperature, about half an hour. I actually like to eat them warm sometimes, but once they're at room temperature, you can put them in the refrigerator and they'll probably be at their best flavor about an hour or even a day later. And in the refrigerator, they'll be at their best quality for two to three weeks. Um, and they'll still be safe to eat after that, but they're going to taste the best for about two to three weeks. And also make sure to refrigerate these. So this recipe is only meant to be used in the refrigerator. If you want to try canning or fermenting pickles, make sure to find 
a recipe and instructions that are specifically for canning or fermenting. These are just meant to be stored in the refrigerator. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have fun um, making up your own flavor combinations of vegetables and spices.